I give the floor to Madame Lilith Galstian from Armenia. Thank you. Dear colleagues, in this context, I would like to speak about the situation in Armenia. Armenia faces a continued rise in authoritarian governance as a result of the constant security challenges, as well as a growing level of internal dissent. A number of international human rights organizations have reported a decline in democracy in Armenia due to the consolidation of power by the government through torture and unlawful police violence, illegal criminal prosecutions, and the dismissal of the parliamentary and community opposition heads. The persecution of opposition politicians through fabricated cases and the implementation of political repression have become common practice. Hundreds of people are illegally imprisoned for their opposition activities, many of whom could be considered political prisoners according to internationally adopted criteria. Key institutions of the democratic state are repeatedly ignored by the government. Hate speech and outright enmity are used to silence those who dare to oppose the regime. Concerns regarding the independence of the judicial system have been reported by the European Association of Judges. Despite dozens of reports, not a single police officer has been prosecuted. We even evidenced an incident involving an opposition MP who was brutally, brutally beaten by dozens of police officers in front of the party headquarters. During a large-scale rally, the police used indiscriminate force and special means towards peaceful demonstrators. I repeat, towards peaceful demonstrators, which resulted in hundreds of injuries and dozens of demonstrators, including 10 journalists were hospitalized with shrapnel wounds, some with life-changing consequences. The actions of the Armenian police, encouraged by the head of the government, demonstrate blatant disregard for human rights and international standards, threatening the democratic path of our nation. Based on the above, I call on my colleagues to condemn the continuing decline in democracy and stand in solidarity with the citizens of Armenia in their commitment to a legal state. In conclusion, I would like to urge the Rapporteur on Human Rights to follow the situation closely on the ground and provide a report on the situation. Thank you.